be showing you how to make this fully reversible tie front or back four way top. I'm going to be making it as a bikini but you can also make it as a regular top as well. I've made the pattern available on my Etsy so I'll link that down below and I think that's everything so let's get on with the video. So to make this project you will need two different styles of fabric so either different colours or different patterns. This should be a four way stretch fabric. I am making swimwear so I've got a swim appropriate active light grub but if I was making a normal top I'd be using something like a 95% cotton, 5% elastane jersey. You will also need an overlocker or a regular machine with a zigzag stitch. You will be using either one of those for every single one of your seams. You will need some pins. You will need some flat braided elastic if you're making a normal top and some swim elastic if you're making swimwear. Something to draw out your pattern pieces, I'm using fabric pens. And something to cut out your pattern pieces, I'm using fabric scissors. So I'm just going to start by laying out my fabrics for cutting out my pattern pieces. So I've just laid this cherry style out with the right side facing up. And then I'm going to take my black fabric, which because it's a block colour, it doesn't have a right or wrong side. So I'm just going to lay this straight on top. But if you have another printed one, like this one, you want your right side to be facing the right side of your first fabric. So then taking your pattern pieces, if you're using my pattern, you will have two pieces. You will have a piece that looks like this, which is your tie front slash back. And you have a piece that looks a little bit like this, but it will have a slightly higher neckline, which I'm just going to do as I draw it out. So for each piece, you want to draw one of these onto your fabric and you want to draw two of these onto your fabric. One in this orientation with this straight edge facing left and one in this orientation with this straight edge facing right. So once you have all of those drawn out, and it's very difficult to see on this because it's black, I'm gonna go in with some pins and pin within all of my lines just to make sure that it's really easy to cut the two layers at the same time. So now that I've placed all my pins, I'm gonna go in and cut these out. Just make sure that you're careful with this bit, try and get it as accurate as possible and make sure you're getting both layers when you cut. So then once you have everything cut out, you should have three pieces that are all made up of two layers, so six pieces in total. So now I'm gonna to start to attach your two layers together. So on your regular top piece, I'm gonna go around each of the armholes with my overlocker. Obviously you can use zigzag stitch if you don't have an overlocker. And then I'm gonna go around the neckline. Just make sure that you leave this strap at the top open. And then I'm gonna go along this bottom edge here. So just around each armhole, around the neckline, and around the bottom edge. And then on your tie front piece, I'm gonna go along this top edge of the tie, along the bottom edge of the tie, and again, around this armhole, making sure you leave this top edge open and this at the side open. So now that you have sewed around all of the edges, you can add your elastic, which I've already done 
on this piece. So I've added it along the top of the tie, along the bottom of the tie and around the armhole. So on the tie fronts, it's along every single seam that you just sewed. And then for your normal top piece, it's every single seam that you just sewed except the bottom hem. So you want to add elastic around your armholes, around your neckline and then the armhole on the other side. So you're just gonna take your elastic and sew that right on top of that seam. So I'm actually gonna sew mine on top of the black side like I have with this one. It doesn't overly matter which side you sew it onto, but whichever side you do sew it onto is gonna be slightly more dominant than the other side. So for example, when I wear this cherry side, the black side will be more likely to peek through to this side. So I'm gonna do it on the black because the black peeking through to this cherry side makes more sense to me than if the cherries poke through to a plain black side, but it won't overly matter which side you pick. So then once you have finished sewing your elastic onto your seams, I'm going to take both of my tie front pieces and turn them to the right side out. And then I'm going to keep this piece inside out and start to place these tie fronts inside the normal top piece. You just want to start to match up all of your corresponding edges, just making sure that the right fabric is facing the right fabric. So here I've got cherry facing cherry, and I'm just going to take this strap of the tie front, and I'm going to thread it up into the strap of your normal top. I'm just going to pin that in place. I'm going to do the same with this side of the tie front and the side of your normal top. Just match up the edges and pin them in place. So then once you've done this side, just making sure that your tie front is kind of like in the middle and out of the way so that you don't sew it in any of your seams. I'm going to go in and do exactly the same with this piece, placing it into the strap and then pinning it down the side. So once you've finished pinning your tie fronts inside your regular top piece, you should have pins all down the sides and at the top of the straps. So now I'm going to go in and sew down these edges. Your goal here is to have everything completely enclosed so you've got no holes. Um, you just need to make sure that you take your time to make sure that you're getting all four layers of fabric in each of your seams because it can be quite easy to miss them out. So just make sure you're taking your time with this one. So now you should just have one final piece that needs to be turned to the right side out. So I'm going to unpick a small section on this armpit here. So then once you have a hole that is about an inch or so wide, you're just gonna start to gently push your 
piece through. If you're using a zigzag stitch, I would probably recommend reinforcing the sides of the hole before you do this, because it will probably come undone. So then now I'm just gonna go in and check all of my seams to make sure I haven't left any layers out before I close up the hole. So I do have a little bit here that I need to go back in and stitch, but I'm probably gonna do that with a hand stitch, so that doesn't matter too much. Other than that, I think I've got pretty much every seam. So now I'm just gonna go in and close up that hole with a ladder stitch by hand. So then to just finish it off with the ladder stitch, I'm gonna come in one side for one stitch and then over to the other side for one stitch. And then back over to this side and then the other side. If you're not 100% sure how to do this, there are some really good tutorials on YouTube. If you just uh, search for ladder stitch. So I'm just going to come all the way along this hole and then come back on myself so that the stitch is more secure and tie it off here. So then once you've finished sewing up this hole, then your top is finished.